Hi, I'm Alicia from My Work Basket. I wanted to do kind of a yarn tube sort of video, just talk to you about what I'm working on, show you some few things, just have a little bit of fun with you today. Um, I'm sitting on my couch, which is not where I usually record, but this is where I usually work, and so I have projects like all around me. Um, I'll just kind of show you some different things that I'm working on this week, some different things I have in progress. So I started knitting that monkey for my son. I've been keeping all the parts in this Ziploc bag. Um, I'm actually making it out of some cotton yarns and it's coming along pretty well. The body worked up nice and quick. I've got the monkey head, the monkey face. I've got, this is one arm. So I've got one arm done so far. Um, a lot of times I do use these little Ziploc bags to keep my projects in depending on what size bag, what size project. So I'm surrounded by Ziploc bags right now. So I've got that monkey going. I still have to do one more arm two ears and a tail, and then I'll be sewing them all together. That might actually happen like later today or tomorrow. I've got another Ziploc bag for my crochet along project. And this is the current square we're working on. This is the, I need, I still need to do one more bias stitch square. So that's what I have in my Ziploc bag right now. And then I will put this yarn away in storage and I'll put my new color on my new block in here. And I also have my big Ziploc full of all of my blocks so far. I love these giant, those are the two and a half gallon Ziploc bags. And I just have all my blocks so far for the crochet along in here. I don't always keep this right next to me on the ottoman. I do kind of tuck this bag away, but it happened to be here. Um, this is a project I did recently for an upcoming magazine issue. It was a lot trickier than I expected. And it's sitting around while I decide kind of what to do with it and if I'm gonna make another one or not. Um, I've always got multiple projects going. It's a bit of a curse. This is a filet crochet design from the September magazine issue that I have. Um, my only concern with this design, it was actually kind of neat. You actually start in the center and then you work around and around to do the design. However, the instructions said it takes 70 yards of size 20, and I'm actually using a larger size 10, but it's going to take well over 100 yards to do one block. Um, I've got these spools with 100 yards per spool, and that one block is not even near done yet, and my spool is running out. You can see cardboard in there already. So... Originally, I was hoping to do six squares and make a table center, like a table runner for Christmas. I don't know if that's going to happen because I don't think I actually have six or seven or more of those skeins. So I have to kind of figure out what I'm doing with that. So it's been sitting a little while while I do it. I also have a hat project I'm working on. This is a Tunisian crochet hat but I'm trying to see if my pattern can be worked flat and then seamed together so that those of you who are doing my crochet along will be able to use your already existing needle and work a flat Tunisia crochet hat. Um, I've done them before, worked in the round, the color pattern it comes out a little bit different, but working in the round with Tunisian crochet does require a different hook. And so for my people who don't have that special hook, I still wanted to give them a project that they can work on. Let's see. I've got a skein of yarn waiting to start a cowl for next month. I've got a project upstairs that I didn't bring down yet. Um, I always try to have one crochet project on the hook, one knitting project on the needles, one Tunisian crochet project going at least. And then usually there's a new pattern of some variety that I'm testing that could fit into any one of those crafts. So I always have multiple ones. And I do try to do crochet and knitting both in the same day. I tend to get kind of like, oh, I'm sick of crochet. And then I switch to knitting. And then I'm like, oh, I'm sick of knitting. And I switch back to crochet or Tunisian crochet. Or... So I switch around a lot. Another thing I want to show you is that yesterday I actually got an amazing deal on a yarn D stash. Um, I just happened upon this one day on the Facebook marketplace and it wasn't a crazy drive for me and it was super cheap. And so it was for weaving yarns and she put them in like trash bags for me to pick them up and to sort them and kind of look at them. I put them in this giant Aldi bag. I don't know if you can tell how big that bag is. 
as you can tell, it's pretty full. I paid only $15 for all this yarn. I was so excited, y'all. So, massive stash of wools, merchandised cottons, fluffy fun stuff. Just amazing, amazing, amazing varieties. And I've got like some kind of soft, fluffy rayon. All in like super vibrant, nice colors. So some of this I will be actually weaving with. I do have a couple weaving looms. Um, some rigid head. I have two rigid heddle looms, a variety of lap looms, a variety of like smaller project, like themed kind of looms. But I'll also be doing some knitting and some crochet and some of that kind of stuff with this one. This one is 100% wool, one ply primitive yarn in a beautiful it's a much brighter green in real life than it's showing on the camera but i just really i mean this bag is just full of great colors of cottons and wools and some rayon variety in here that i think it'll be really fun to work with so i'll kind of you'll be seeing some of these and some upcoming projects a lot of really nice bright colors That's kind of on there, kind of funny. I might have to have my assistant re-roll that one. My assistant is my son. I pay him to ball my yarns and roll my yarns. And he says he'll do it right now. Um, this is a kind of a thick. I suspect this one may have been hand done at some point because the wool is actually not very clean. Um, when I picked it up out of the bag, it actually kind of prickled me. And at one point in the wool, there's actually like an entire spiky spine. See the... So I don't think that will be... That whole thing is a... Like that would have come out had it been combed and carded well. So this one will definitely not be made into some kind of soft, fluffy scarf. But I think that'll still be fun to play with. There's just... There's so many yarns in here. And the colors just go together so well. I mean, you could just do so many so many different things so i got a great deal on that i was super excited we went in and went into the it was about about 20 minutes away so after an appointment we rode over and we picked that up and make sure there's nothing else super beautiful in here um there's just some a little bit of orange cotton some thick more of that single ply 100 percent wool and some of these are very very full cones you can see kind of compared to my hand there um some of them do have labels on the ends some of them have labels but the end is so full you can't see the the label so anyway that's a little bit of what i've got kind of going on this week working on this week showing off this week i don't know if i should do this one this one's so it's a lot shinier in person than I think it really shows up on the camera. Um, but so that's what I've kind of got around me this week that I've been working on or that I am working on or that I will be working on or that I'm kind of messing around with. I hope you had fun looking around, just seeing a little bit of my a little bit of my craft mess on my couch here. And stay tuned to my work basket. There's always free patterns, projects, fun. Um, I'm going to start showing off more of my vintage stuff. Maybe doing more, a few more of these yarn tube videos. Just kind of have fun with you and encourage you to make things and learn new things and enjoy yarn crafts. And I also really like when people think about the memories of who taught them to craft or who in their life used to craft. Different things like that. So anytime you see something handmade, really think. Who made this? What were they like? And yeah, I mean, it's just, to me, it's just kind of a bigger thing. I think that craft is really a thing that holds people together because you could be out out in the world and be like, you know, knitting away and someone be like, oh, that looks just like what my great aunt Hilda used to make. Or that looks just like what my grandmother used to do. Or I remember once when my aunt made a scarf with a color like that. And everybody seems to have stories like that. That's a lot of what I like to focus on is just craft as a way of bringing people together, encouraging memories encouraging creativity i believe kids should be crafty i believe everyone should be crafty anytime someone comes to me i'm like well do you have a hobby don't talk to me i'll be about being sad if you don't have a hobby i feel like everyone needs a hobby i love it when you're productive and making things and so that's what i try to encourage 
And I really hope that that's working for you. So stay tuned to My Work Basket, um, myworkbasket.com. I have a Facebook group called My Work Basket to encourage people to show off to projects and just have fun together. You can also find me on Ravelry, Instagram. I'm all over the place as either Mom to Blue or My Work Basket. So usually I'll come up in both. All right. Have a great day.